Hi, I'm Simon Mawson and I'm reading to you from Stories for South Asian Supergirls, a brilliant book compiled by Raj Gaur Khera, um, so that we can learn from and learn about, because we haven't heard so many of these stories, South Asian women throughout history, throughout time, uh, from right across the world who have had extraordinary lives and achievements that we should all be inspired by and learn about. Um, now this is Maharani Jind Gaur, a rebel queen. And um, the piece about her opens with, wear that you cowards, I'll go in trousers and fight myself. An enraged Jind flung her petticoat at a group of fierce Sikh soldiers. They'd been fighting the British but were dangerously low on ammunition and close to defeat. Jin's courage wouldn't be enough to save her son's empire. A few years earlier, Jin's life had been thrown into turmoil. Her husband, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, had died and several heirs to his Sikh empire were murdered by rivals. Ranjit's youngest son, Dilip Singh, became the Maharaja in 1843 at the age of just five. Jind was fiercely protective of her son and commandeered the army and ministers and government on his behalf. When the British declared war against uh, the Sikh Empire in 1845, Jin sent the army into battle, but they lost despite her best efforts. The British took over her son's empire, but Jind refused to be controlled. Deeply fearing her power, the British grew increasingly paranoid that she would spark a rebellion. Now, desperate to limit Jin's influence, they imprisoned her. Dilip, aged just nine, was exiled far away from his mother and his homeland. Now, one night, disguising herself as a servant, Jin made a daring escape from jail. She skillfully evaded capture and traveled over 800 kilometers to seek refuge in Nepal. Jin and Dilip were finally reunited in 1861 after being separated for 13 years. She moved to England to be with her son. Despite her failing health, the shrewd queen saw her final opportunity to strike at the British. Before she died, Jin reminded Dilip about his lost kingdom and begged him to reclaim his throne. Inspired by his mother's words, the leap would rebel against the British, and even in death, Jin remained a thorn in the British Empire's side. That is Maharani Jin Kaur, and that is a story for South Asian supergirls to learn from and be inspired by, like us all.